Hey. <laughs> Breakfast time. We're going to the Joseon Dynasty tombs in Gangnam. And we're about to get on two buses and it's gonna take an hour to get there. But yeah, it's children's day. So we have off from classes. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, ate it off the bus. We're walking towards it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I walked in the wrong direction. So we're using neighbor maps, um, which is like Korean Google maps, to try to find the entrance to this park. When we were riding on the bus and walking in the wrong direction, we could see the tombs <laughs> and we could see the, the things we wanted to see, but there was no entrance. And so now we're following neighbor to what we think is the entrance, but it looks like you have to walk through a whole park to get to the things and it is hot today. I wasn't planning on walking a couple kilometers, but we'll see. As long as I'm in the shade, I'm okay. Okay, made it. Basically, we're doing our plan because um, it's massive. So Steph, will you show them our plan, please? Okay. <laughs> Bathroom first. Bathroom first. <laughs> then we'll go here to King Jung, Jung Royal Tomb. Then we're going to come back down. Instead of making a huge circle, we're just going to go this way. And then come up. And then... Eat. Head back the same way, yeah. probably? Yeah, probably this way, because it's like a different road, but yeah. Okay, cool. Good plan, good plan. Here's some history. Woo -hoo -hoo. She was very... There's three, like, tomb tombs here. And then there's some other stuff. But yeah, let's go. Bathroom, bathroom time. Priorities. Okay, we're going to that one first. Beep, beep. All of the palaces and pagodas have this design and I always think it's so beautiful. They have, I don't know if you can see that, they have little guardian spirits up on the corners um, and then each color, pink, represents um, one of the earthly elements. elements. Yes, and the elements. It's like fire, water, earth. It's, it's fire, water, earth. It's wood and ground, I think. It's not- Yes, you're right. Yeah, it's not like Avatar The Last Airbender. It's like fire, water, wood, and ground, I think. Yeah, but- Oh, I think sky too. Sky, yeah. So it's a little different from how we know the elements, but like the palaces and all the pagodas have this style, and I think it's beautiful. There, you can see the spirits on the, the corners of the roof and also over there they you can kind of see the spirits on the corners sorry the camera quality isn't great but they get from smaller to bigger the further out from the roof you go we'll go there next and then the tomb itself is up there you can see that little mound is the tomb it's on the hill We made an oopsie walking down the stairs of this place. There's two sets of stairs, you can't see them, but one is for the spirits and you're not supposed to walk on that one and one is for the king and we're allowed to walk on that one. Like historically, there was a set of, spirit, a set of stairs for the spirits, a set of stairs for the king, and then commoners and anybody below the king could not be up here, I'm pretty sure. Like, they weren't allowed to step on the same ground. They didn't have a sign, so they didn't have a sign on the direction we were coming from, so we accidentally walked on the spirit stairs. Um, 
and I think that's a problem because this is still an active site of worship for a certain religion. But here we will be mindful. It says, take the left path because this is the incense road and we're allowed to walk on this one. So we'll be more careful about where we walk now. Put more signs, please. Thank you. <laughs> So we're not sure if we can actually walk up to the actual tomb itself. Like I showed you, it's on that hill behind there. Um, we're not sure if we can actually go see it, but here's a diagram of it. So this is actually the prince's tomb. He became the king, but he's the son of the two major monarchs that are buried at this site. And you can see there's a whole lot. He's buried in this mound. And then there's like stone animals uh, meant to protect him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Shrines. Yeah. So, oh, okay. We're here we at the gate. I don't think we can because back here, we tried, I, I saw and the gate closed. Okay. So, and there's no entrance from up here. Huh. So I don't think we can go back there. That's okay. Let him rest in peace. Yeah. But this, um, so the tombs, there's three tombs here and all of these shrines. But this place is actually a park and it's really, really pretty. And there's lots of shade. I complained earlier about it being hot mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it is okay. hot. The thing about being in Korea is, um, at home, when it's hot, we wear like tank tops, crop tops, shorts, um, and we like expose more skin to um, like have less on our body when it's hot. Here, they just wear like looser clothing, but they still s stay pretty covered. So we're not used to that. Sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> there's a bug. <laughs> so like, we're not used to dressing that way and we're trying to not get stared at a lot. Girl. <laughs> We're trying to not get stared at a lot when we go outside. So like we are wearing long skirts and pants. We are like pretty covered, but still sometimes it's a struggle because we're just not used to covering up like during, being, yeah, yeah, covering up during this kind of weather. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> It's not too hot, but like we're just not used to wearing full clothing. <laughs> but yeah, like look at how pretty this is. Tomb Keeper's House. Hmm. Cool. So there's this one big house. And then they've got like a uh, three sides around it of houses. And you can look in. Don't go in, but you can look in. And from what I understand, these houses, these little ones are also sleeping quarters for other people. Like when we went to the palaces, the way it was set up was like, the main center building would be the sleeping quarters for the main person. So like whether it be the king, the queen, their sons, whatever. And then these places would be where their like servants or other people would sleep. But obviously this is a, tomb keeper so I'm assuming like the main tomb keeper is here and like the other tomb keepers live here too and then they prepare offerings they do whatever they do blah 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 so here we are we are at the history center why don't we go inside and yeah. see what's up 
So whenever we couldn't go up to the tomb, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, there's like a burial mound. And then like we said, all the statues and the temple in front of it. You can see there the mound behind it and the temple was in front of it. Oh. So what we saw at the temple where we accidentally walked down the wrong steps, they still do some rituals there. Um, and there were pictures of the stuff they do. We're not, there was no English of it, of what they do, but I assume they honor. They give offerings. Yeah, they give offerings. I don't know if it's to the spirits or to um, the deceased royalty or not, but yeah. Okay, so we made it to the king, king and queen's tombs. So these are bigger. Uh, yeah, take a look. So the king and the queen have different tombs, the but they shrine. yeah they share uh, share the same shrine. Shrine's right there. Um, and then that's one of the tombs right there. And then the other tomb is somewhere over there. Yeah, let's go. We'll walk on the correct road this time. <laughs> We're excited. Steph just pointed out that there are people up near the top, near the actual tomb mound, the burial mound. So we'll be able to get closer to this tomb than to the prince's tomb. We'll actually be able to see it. Yeah. Woo <laughs> so there's this cute little house and guess what it's the royal kitchen yay <laughs> oh the sun <laughs> it's got the little flowers you know cute 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 and then here's a side view of the temple again we've got the guardian spirits up there sorry when i try to point it focuses wrong and there's another cute little house over there but let's go look at the temple shrine again we've got the beautiful painting um all up in the roof and there's inside there's not much inside um it's just where they do rituals hi kid a little <laughs> we walked down the correct steps this time <gasps> no the kid went down the wrong steps oh my god no kid no Pride house mm -hmm. So this is the, this cute little house is for the guards of the tomb. Yep. Now let's go see the tombs. Slash, what is that thing? All the small stuff and then the tombs, we're gonna see. But yeah, it's up there. We made it to the top, there was a hill. Boop, boop, boop. And it looks like right here is the viewing place. This guy's mowing the lawn, but we get to take a nice peek. Oh, they're grooming it. So there's the actual mound. That's really cool, actually. So this is the um, king's tomb, King uh, King Songjong. Um, and here are all of his like guardian statues. I can't tell what they are. A pony, maybe a horse. And then they have people statues. Yeah. And then there's his tomb. And they keep it very well groomed, landscaped, nice. So we're trying to find how to get to the queen's tomb next. Yeah. We're kind of having some trouble. So from the shrine, <laughs> There is a road just for spirits to go up to the queen's tomb. And there's a path next to it, so like, so we can walk up and see, but look at how beautiful this area is. Um, again, we're not allowed to walk on the spirit path, but we're gonna try to get there by following it. Here's the spirit road. Boop. So, we found it. Here's where the spirit road ends. I'm not sure if we're able to go up and look at it, but in this video you can see the very top of the head of a statue. Um, yeah, I'll try to see if we can go get next to it. 
Wait, okay. Yeah, no, I'm confused. The, so a couple is married here, a king and a queen, both of them. Um, and no, well, the king and his third queen consort, whatever. And then what was over there was a king from a different time. And then the very first one was a prince of a different time. So I'm pretty sure there's four monarchs buried in this park. It's just a little confusing. Yeah. So there are two people buried in this one. There they are. So this is the queen's tomb. Um, the king and the queen are buried at different sides of this hill. Um, yeah, and this is the queen's side. So what we said before about there being two people in that one tomb, incorrect. <laughs> the signs are very confusing. <laughs> Very, very confusing. So I think there's only three people buried in this park. The king, the queen, and that prince who became the king eventually. Um, the prince was the one we couldn't go see. Um, and the king and the queen, we did see. Yay. Now I'm very carefully walking down these stairs that could probably kill me. So now we're gonna leave. Yeah, that was the tombs. Um, really, really cool, actually. Um, we got to learn a little bit about about like Korean um, burial practices. Um, a lot about the spirit roads. That stuff was really cool, and like the steps for the spirit, and then the steps for the king, and the path for everybody else. That was pretty cool. Um, and also like the statues at each of the tombs are meant to be guardians and one of the signs was saying that the king's tomb had a certain set of stone statues or wall that was in um, compliance with the final rites of his era so like the five rites of confucianism i think um, but interestingly, the queen's side did not have that part of the burial stones. Um, she only had the guardians, I think. So that was super interesting to learn about. And the fact that they still actively um, keep the spirit roads clear and they still do their offerings in the shrines. Um, yeah, still pretty cool. Good day. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I like seeing this kind of stuff. Yeah. Not just like the new stuff in Seoul. Um, you know, like, of course, we love BTS. We love going to like the Kakao Friends store. We love going to Hongdae. We love like the new stuff yeah. in Seoul. But history is so cool. Yeah. When it's like something you definitely don't know anything about. Yeah, like so. we knew nothing about this. And when we stepped on the spirit stairs, we were like, no. <laughs> I know, and it's just like also because it's not just like history, but also like the religion plays a part. Yeah. Too, so it's cool to learn things outside of what we know already. Mm -hmm. But not only just here, but like other countries too. Yeah. Korea has so much to offer, and we've yeah. been lucky enough to um, go to some older historical parts of Korea yeah. while we've been here, and how it blends with um, the newer culture of Korea is still really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, good day. Glad we're in the shade right now. Yeah. Good walk. Might go get some lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's a good day to be outside. Yeah, good day to be outside. Good All right. Children's day. Good children's day. Yeah, it's children's day. <laughs> um, so actually, admission to this park was free <laughs> because it's a holiday. Um, but also, it would have been 1,001 yeah. for anybody above 19. So 1,001 is like less than a dollar. Yeah. So if you're in Seoul, come here, do it. It's less than a dollar to enter. Quick, honestly, it's like an hour, just like walking everything and exploring, mm -hmm. especially if you want to take your time. 
Yeah. Because I can enjoy the scenery. So yeah. If you have like time, you should definitely do it because yeah. it doesn't take all day. Yeah. Okay. Cool.